All right, in this quick demo video, I'm going to demonstrate a horizontal mattress suture technique. Uh, if you want a little bit longer video tutorial, please check out the longer video of mine that you can find is a link in the description. Uh, for a horizontal mattress suture, we wanna use this on larger gaping lacerations where there's a lot of tension across it to pull this closed. And so we want to, uh, similar to what we would do with a simple interrupted suture, we want to enter the skin there uh, about half a centimeter away from the skin edge, and we want to go down into the subcutaneous tissue, and then we're going to reset, uh, and on the other side, be at the same depth in the subcutaneous tissue at the same spot, and then we're going to exit out of the skin, just like as if we were tying a simple interrupted suture. Um, however, with a horizontal mattress suture, we want to reset our needle in a backhanded method like this so that we can go back the other direction doing the same thing, just a little further down the laceration like this. And we're going to, again, make sure that we are entering the subcutaneous tissue on the other side at the same depth as we were, and we're going to exit the skin in line with our first pass. And so you can see uh, what we've got going on here. And so for this, we're going to pull this tight and we're going to complete a, a simple instrument tie over here on the side in the usual fashion. So it's a surgeon's knot first, going around our needle driver twice, grabbing that suture and pulling it down. And with this, you can pull a decent amount of pressure. This is going to be high risk for strangulating the skin edge because it pulls longitudinally down the laceration as well. But this is a good technique for making sure that we can approximate a large gaping laceration without running as much of a risk of tearing through the skin edges as if we were to use a simple interrupted technique in this way. But a, a horizontal mattress suture does have a tendency to strangulate the skin fairly easily, but notice it did pull the skin edges together better so that now I have a less tension and can close the rest of this with something like a simple interrupted or a different technique. I actually don't love the horizontal mattress suture because it is fairly easy to strangulate the skin, but it does work well to pull large gaping lacerations or incisions together to at least get us started with the skin edges closer so that I have less tension working with the rest of the laceration. I oftentimes will cut the horizontal mattress suture out after I've used it initially to pull a large gaping laceration together. But I hope you enjoyed this. Please click like, subscribe, follow along. Thanks.